Hey all, Farmer Dre back at it. It's another beautiful Thursday afternoon here on the farm. I'm going to kind of inform you guys what's been going on on the farm lately. Or if you guys are from the Missouri area, you guys know it's been wet and rainy the past couple of days. And with all this wetness and rain and this uh, moisture coming down from the sky and the humidity, strawberries really don't like that. So we've been spraying as many uh, as many of the fungicide as we can, but with so much rain, it's kind of hard putting in an application because you got to wait at least four hours for the chemical to dry to, for it to be effective. And if you're just going to spray and the rain's going to come knock it off, then you're just wasting your money. So between all that, between picking, between the rain, it's been kind of a it's been a slower week here on the farm because we haven't been able to go out and pick. This is the first beautiful morning we've had. We're gonna make we're making these boxes here. We're gonna go with Isaac and I are gonna go out and pick and see how the crop is looking out there. I went out there and drove by with the four wheeler. There's still a lot of green berries on the plants, but overall this rain has really set us back quite a bit. So you know, whenever it rains, there's no sunshine, obviously, because there's stuff falling from the sky. So without sunshine, the plant is not photosynthesizing and it cannot produce the uh, the fruit. So let's head in that in the field and see what is going on out there. So just look at the amount of water and puddles is on the ground here. Everything over here is just super muddy. This was solid uh, uh, gravel here. We get some uh, washouts from over there coming. The water just flows down whenever we get heavy rains. It just kind of carries all this mud over here. Same thing in front of the warehouse door there. So it's just, it's been really sloppy lately. I mean, with five inches of rain this past week, what can you expect? So real quick, I want to point out, driving out of the drive here, Missouri State, bring out a thing there for all the graduates. So as you guys know, I was supposed to be graduating tomorrow or I'm gonna be graduating. I'm still getting my diploma, but I'm not having an official graduation. They're still gonna have the official graduation in October, but by then I don't care about it anymore. So I probably should walk, but I'm, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to, but anyways, this was my last day of school, it was today actually. But other than that, I'm out here picking strawberries instead of being in class. So no other better news than that. So we usually park on that side, but since it's so wet out here, decided to park over here on Valens driveway go ahead and show you guys there's still a lot of green berries out here like I mentioned but they are just not red just look at that right there so a few red ones a lot of green ones they're still flowering coming on so it's just we'll see how many pounds we can pick today before we get started into picking these strawberries I want to show you guys our blackberries here real quick. The uh, rotating cross-arm trellis for the blackberries. You can see that they've been flowering. They have been, we laid them down <clears throat> so that the, the trellis arm could be effective. So here we go. This is the, um, this is a blackberry blossom here. So we haven't had any cold damage yet. So whenever these are done pollinating, we're gonna go ahead and pick them back up. And then the trellis arms will be standing up so then all the flowers will be on one side most of the leaves are me on the other side alrighty so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys these are the new Prima canes coming out of the ground and we usually don't want them to you know be this size but the trellis the, the blackberries are a little later in bloom this year so we're, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to pull another wire here on the bottom we still haven't finished the trellis and we're gonna go ahead and lay down these uh, Prima canes here this way I'll try not to snap them there and then we're going to go ahead and cut off the apical mare stem at the other plant there and it's going to shoot up the the new uh shoots coming up here but i'm going to make a complete video on how the rca trellis works during the during the summer during the growing season but overall you know i haven't really been we've been super busy with the strawberries and tomatoes i haven't really been able to come out here and uh, show you guys what the uh trellis system is looking like but overall I mean, there's probably thousands and thousands of blossoms out here. So we're going to have a, a decent crop on them. These are just two-year-old bushes. So we're not going to expect a full, full crop. Come the third season, the third year, that's when to go ahead and hit it hard and hopefully hit that um, five pounds per linear foot in the third year. So, you know, this year is just testing the waters and seeing how the system works exactly. All right, so this is why we grow on raised beds because they got all the water that's over here. 
It's like, are you kidding me? That's why we, we tried throwing that rye there, but it didn't seem to be working pretty good. More weed coming up, but if I would have sprayed something in the fall or fertilized, I put the, if I would have put that rye out in the fall, it's been a lot better. But you work with what you got. So this is today's picking. We got some amazing taste testers here. Red Dude, he's been in. Let's see. Enjoying them. Good stuff. Come away. way. He don't want to give you one. Can you get it? <laughs> They've Sorry. been real good and sweet. I mean, like I mentioned earlier, the rain. You know, the quality of them is not that. It's not. They're not as firm as we like. And another thing about the strawberries is once you pick them after a big rainstorm. Maybe a day and a half later, they start going bad on you. So for these, we thankfully, we have a lot of orders, and they're going to be going to farmer's market this afternoon and be sold by tonight. But if you were going to keep these, these the shelf life on these were, are not as good as the ones that never get any rain. So it's just, you know, we're pretty thankful we have them all sold before they're picked. So now we've got to go in the warehouse, grade them, put them in the court and the pints, and head. make sure Adrian goes to farmer's market, and then we continue the day's worth of work here on the farm all right so what we do here is we have these uh wooden pints here and then we do what like adrian's doing right there he is uh, just filling them up kind of to bring them grating them the one that are a little soft you're going to put aside we're going to use those in the bakery <clears throat> so that's the plan is we have a few boxes there isaac is going to do this one and i'm just going to sit here on the camera and uh film everybody and do nothing yep. so patron <laughs> <laughs> no i'm just joking i'm gonna get to it So the whole day has passed by. I left my camera in the warehouse there before Adrian left to market. I, you know, I helped him out and then I uh, just kind of forgot it in there. We did a whole bunch of stuff here on the farm, but you know, the sun's going down and Isaac started mowing the high density apples with the brush hog on the tractor. I'm gonna go ahead and jump on our small tractor and finish what he started. And then hopefully we'll get done with that. And then tomorrow, if it doesn't rain, which they're calling for about 80% chance of rain, I wanted to start mowing the orchard adrian already mowed it once but you know he's busy at farmer's market and i was gonna go back and do it but you know you can't stop the rain i mean we can't we can't control the weather and that's the bottom line so you know we've already got close to five inches of rain this week and they're calling for more tomorrow so it's just we work around what we have so you know quick complaining and let's get to work This is gonna be pretty much it for today. If you guys haven't already, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, go ahead and smash that like button if you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to hit that notification icon so you guys can be notified whenever I do upload a video. I wanna say thanks for watching up to this point. You guys have a good day. We will see you next time.